Okay, guys. I know I probably don't have any street cred or any viewers left at this point, but... It's been an interesting week or so, hasn't it? First I thought it was the Fae, and then I thought it was Odin, and then I was like, this whole time I was fighting the belief that the, this being that was coming through was Loki, because I'm like, you can't be paranoid. Every god isn't Loki, except for when they are. And... I went out for a walk, and I'm like, I've had... I, I, I have really had it at this point because Odin played along and everyone played along and as it kept like unfolding like everybody was like playing along and Loki was having his merry fun and I should have known because all this chaos stuff came up and like all everything I tried today I was like being fought today and I couldn't do it and I was just so uh and I was like, why Why is this happening to me? And it was Loki coming in in another form and then even pretending to be Odin, which was really fun, which, you know, I'm, I'm like, I was like totally through with both of them. I'm like, go away. And that's my allergies, by the way, and I've been crying. Um, then like a thunderstorm came today. And I'm like sitting in the park and I have had it. And Odin's like trying to be nice. And I, at least I think it was Odin. And he's like, well, you know, he is associated with all these things some place somewhere. Uh, he, he didn't lie to you. And you kind of knew who he was all this time. And you wouldn't let yourself know. And he fooled you because you trust him so much. Which is actually a good thing, because if I didn't trust Loki as much as I did, he couldn't have helped me in a lot of the ways he did. And he, he fooled me for my own good. I mean, it's not like it wasn't for my own good. It's not like I don't know what it was about, but... It's like, now I don't have a channel, because I must seem like the craziest person on the planet, because Loki tricked me, tricked me so well. And I was, like, believing all this, too. Like, oh, there's fairies. And then, no, it's Odin. And then, oh... So, in, uh, I don't even know what to do at this point. If there should even be a channel, because he, he messed things up so much for, partially for his own amusement, because I'm like his little toy, and partially to teach me a lesson, and partially because he's Loki, and that's how he is. And I'm just really disgusted with him right now. I mean, he's brought a lot of blessings into my life, and I love him. It's not like I rejected him or anything, and well played on him and uh, Odin for both pulling Grift on me. So now, Loki will have, mysteriously, I think it was Loki, it was after American Gods, in eight days with Luke, of Luke, whatever it is. And I was like, those are darn funny things for the old father to want. Like, it was darn funny things for the old father to want when we went shopping, but... What are you gonna do? He he snookered me, and he snookered me good. So, like, there, there's a saying, what, uh, pagan problems, all your gods are Loki. And he he's actually, he's done it to me in the past, but usually not to this length. And not to a point where I've been making videos on it. I think he partially did it to get back at me because I told him I, I need to stop the channel for a while. I don't have anything to do videos on. He gave me stuff to do videos on, alright. Uh, unfortunately, it's made an absolute train wreck of the channel. I like went out for my walk. I came back. I was about to make a thank you video on all the new people that joined. And now we've lost several people. But thanks to the new people who joined anyways, unless you're the people that left. <laughs> And sometimes you do have to deal with that chaos aspect. He might love you down to the ground and sideways, but every so often he's just really super destructive and you don't know why sometimes till years later and then you can look back at that time in your life and go, okay, because I have no idea why he deliberately would do this. Let me go about my merry way making videos about it and kind of like deliberately run his own channel into the ground. I'm like, yeah, now I sound like a raving lunatic. Nobody's going to believe a word I say about you or anything else. And 
I'm not taking the videos down. Because it's part of the arc. People that bother coming to the channel to watch all the videos, they, they can watch me get a really good royal snow job from Loki. And he felt he wasn't getting what he wanted and needed. And he felt I wasn't getting what I wanted and needed. So he tricked me, tricked me good. And I should have known. And he was scolding me. He's like, you should have known by like the colors I was wearing and by what I look like and just by your gut feelings and all this other stuff. And I'm, I don't even know at this point if the Greek gods actually came back or not. Is uh, When Loki does this kind of stuff, it makes me doubt everything that's like happened for like weeks before, you know? So I don't know, because it's mysterious. The Greek gods kind of came back and then they completely disappeared. So it's like I just have a smart aleck, sarcastic, mean-spirited... Yeah, I should have known it was Loki, come to think of it. Snarky God. That, uh, yeah, the crows are his, of course, because he's Loki. And he destroyed the iron fence, apparently, because he could. And chaos has been going off in my house because it's Loki here. And I was actually holding my temper quite well, because I thought gentle, ethereal beings were going through my house. Now I'm just going to start shouting out the top of my lungs again like I usually do. And he got himself a candle and he got himself more territory. Because you can't go back on a promise. And he got himself... Now the draft horse makes sense, come to think of it, in the black hat. It, like, it makes a lot more sense. In fact, I think a statue of God for Odin he claimed for himself. It's like... <sighs> He's very territorial at times. He is. He's like territorial. Like, yeah. I said, you're never going to let any fairies near me, are you? And he's like, ew. <laughs> I'm like, fine, be that way. And the crows were just absolutely laughing at me all day. Like, you can tell when they're laughing at you. And the crows are like, ha ha ha, he played her good. Oh, no crow feathers or anything. No, like, mysterious thing that I found in the park or anything that helped me piece it all together. <laughs> it's just like, why, Loki, why? just sometimes I think he gets good and bored and I'm like his favorite chew toy and he's like you know what I'm gonna play with you um I really apologize to those of you that have had to walk through it with me I really legitimately thought this stuff was all happening but he can pull he is a god that's a master of illusion and he can make you see things that aren't there he can like totally befuddle you in illusion and destroy his enemies that way um I don't think he did it maliciously, but he did it because it pleased him to do it. And um, every so often when you work with him, he will bat at you like a cat. Now, thankfully, the paw was, you know, it was closed paw and the claws weren't out. But it, every so often is kind of he does have this dangerous element to him that he will kind of bat at you. Kind of remind you, like, who's the god and... Uh, how strong he really is. Um, so he actually got double offerings on the full moon. Well done, Loki. Well played. Made a fool out of me. But yeah, I got made a total fool of. I've probably lost respect of everybody that watches the channel. And you all probably think I'm freaking nuts. But um, I'm not so much as mad. I mean, it's Loki. And when you work with Loki, you have to put up with... Yeah, put up with. You have to expect this. And, um, certainly was humbling. He's like, oh, I don't want you to be humble if you were any more humble. And we got into a discussion about what would humble pie exactly talk, uh, taste like. Would it be cherry? Would it be rhubarb? What would it taste like? And we were actually going back and forth. Because we usually have this real informal relationship. And I don't know. Maybe he thought being the fairy in the reaction he got of being one of the she, uh, that was something he wanted and he wasn't getting it as Loki and he, he found a way to get it. And I'm just ashamed that I was that dumb and trusting, but I am. I'm dumb and trusting. I, I think that's why Loki likes me. If it, So in the future, if I tell you, oh, I met this new god, you can all be like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course you did. 
it, it it throws an adult everything I ever did as a writer. I'm like, was I actually working with these gods or was it just Loki? But yeah, uh, he's kind of territorial and kind of won't let other gods near you. And I don't even know how we got started on the fairy thing. They're usually like the furthest thing from my mind. It's like, that's nice. Oh, at least he didn't decide to abduct me as a UFO or something. I mean, he could have been worse. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, please, Loki, don't get ideas. <sighs> But yeah, I, I do apologize to those of you that had to see all that insanity and wonder what was going wrong with me. We lost subs over it, but hey. Most of what I said could probably still apply anyway, so I won't take the videos down. I think if people find the material they want and need and can apply it to something, that's fine. And with Loki, you can never quite know the truth sometimes. And you kind of got to be okay with living in that gray area of what actually happened to me. I'll probably never know. But, yeah, he, he tipped his hand today. It, it was just a little too much chaos today. A little too much everything gone wrong today. A little too much of me being befuddled today. And I'm like, something seriously going on. Then I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Okay, you're doing that? Fine. I'm not mad at him or anything, it's just, there's nothing you can do, he is a god. <laughs> so, yeah, um, just kind of try to erase from your mind half of what I said for like the last week or so. Go back to when I was talking about Loki, forget anything besides Loki, and we should be, we should be golden. But I, I still love him, and you know, you might never get the experience of him tricking you that badly. I don't know why he did it. I think he was bored, and he thought I was bored, and I needed an adventure. <laughs> and he's very pleased with himself. He's being very happy and playful, and I'm not mad or anything. He, he didn't actually do anything wrong. I mean, he's Loki. That's his nature. So, you know, you, it's like yelling at the wind for being the wind. Good luck with that. So if you guys like what you see, and you still believe in the channel, um... Yeah, you know, go ahead, comment below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, I think I chased most of the subscribers off <laughs> last week or so. But I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.